Hey there guys, it's basically 33 here with the continuation of the Trigger Happy Havoc. Oh wow, I really don't like speed talking. Anyways, let's just get to the game already. Last time we left off. Uh oh. Uh someone's dead, I believe. Um it was actually that girl that was in the title sequence right there. So um how convenient. And yeah, we left off in a pretty bad spot here. So uh hold on. Uh what was the uh in fact I've never been uh uh shit, huh? Okay, okay, okay. So I think we just need to talk to these guys, or are we investigating now? Uh, let's assume that we're investigating right now. Okay. Hmm. So. Uh, fuck, what's her? Uh, did I give him a nerdy voice last time? It's been a while since I last recorded. I always put these in rotations. Like, last time I, I recorded, um, last time I did a Let's Play, I recorded a Yu-Gi-Oh! And now I'm doing, um, Dang and Roper, and pretty sure tomorrow I'm gonna do Undertale, but... Yeah, that's how my Let's Plays goes usually, where I just go in rotations. Uh, for now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? <laughs> I said it once already. There's a word written, okay. Bloodlust. What does that mean? The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. <laughs> but you know, that thing about... Writing bloodlust is blood. Doesn't it sound kind of familiar here? What? A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of the, each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? What? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murder fiend, murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then, this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is in this school? No way. Th there's no way. Mm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I'm a I am surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't even imagine a worse situation than dealing with a m stupid murderer. Uh. Ah! <laughs> what is it now? Uh, who's Toko again? Hina was pointing towards the entrance of the girls' locker room. Oh, that took, uh, 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 oh, fuck, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna improv my voice dialogues with each character. Uh, Toko was the last to arrive, and now she's just standing there. No! Why? Why? W-H-Y! Okay. To Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Oh. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh. Oh. oh, that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints every time she sees blood. Oh. So she's a uh, homophobic? I imagine she does not want to watch too many horror films then. Um, this, this isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere beside her room. No, I, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so since she didn't fail on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second. Okay. <laughs> Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she'd heard that, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was so it was such a strange reaction. I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up in the air, charging. What is this fucking an anime? Um, <laughs> uh, in no time flat, she was just standing up, ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through. Her motions were totally. If only we get to see these instead of detailing them. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that! I'm just so shocked to know! It happened, right? So was I the only one? Oh my gosh, she... The way her face 
looks like. She kind of reminds me. If you, if you guys ever seen um drawn together an animated show where it's basically like a collaboration between like different universes of characters. Like there's kind of like a Legend of Zelda inspired characters. There's like a Disney princess character and there's the slut. Um, there's it's like a combination of like things. And she she reminds me of um, fuck, what's her name again? Princess Claire's uh cousin, Blair. <laughs> Yes, that's her name. Her name was Blair, and I don't know, for some reason, like, the way I see her face, it looks like Princess Blair, so I, 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 I'm I gonna roll with that voice from now on. Totoko, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fat. <laughs> oh god, I spit out. I am so sorry, table. Uh, where, where, oh fuck, where's a napkin when you need one? Shit. Uh, mm. uh, okay. Thing's fine. Anyways, whoa! Is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> Jesus, Toko, you're just making it even more worse for yourself for me to like you. What the heck? She must have. Oh fuck! Now, <laughs> god damn! Now, now you have to hear us. What's it? Okay, uh, surfer dude. No! Oh! Okay, she must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> The world has a front and a back, a top ending and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Well, this is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. So then my voice acting job is working after all, right? No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the sun is all gone. But now you have a huge lisp on your dialogue, so I don't think that's a good thing. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I see. Oh my god, my pelvis is hurting. It is clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem so strangely vacant. Oh my god, I'm becoming Shatner with a fucking loud objection voice. It must be. Oh yeah, let me try again. <clears throat> it might be. Oh my god, there's a phone, really? Okay, whatever. It might be best that we take care of her back into her room for the time being. So, um. I don't mind taking her, but. Could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, she totally ignored me! Hmm. Very well. You take care of... Oh, fuck. Uh, that, was that really his voice? I, I don't remember giving him a normal voice from the last time we recorded. I think I gave him like a nerdy voice, but that feels way too similar to Hifumi. Uh, uh, whatever, I'll roll, I'll roll with the emo stereotype. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Uh, hold on a second, rushing to an investigation? The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize. God damn it, Makoto. Make me repeat myself. There is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. <laughs> Isn't that right? Monoku. Of course! Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a fact of life! Because... Yeah. That's how graduation works! Uh, oh god, even her eyes are like, fucked up. I feel like they're like, clawed out or something. Uh, then, it happened again? Is it- is that what you're trying to say? That another one of us... Uh, another one of us killed a fellow classmate? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, uh, don't you dare touch mine. Don't you dare touch mine. <laughs> yeah! Actually, I don't have any e- Well, cl clearly, because uh, looking at you right now, you- Yeah, <laughs> okay. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? Hee <laughs> hee <laughs> I sure did, chump! Allow me to present the next Monokuma file! I know how much you must be looking forward to it! So, please do your very tippy-top best on this investigation! No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? Seems like the case. Examin examining the corpse of one of our friends? Having to suspect all of our other friends? Oh, goddamn my ear. I got new earphones, by the way, so the the quality of my ear- Yeah, the quality of my earphones are not that good, so I'm sorry if I kind of mishear some things. Sorry, anyways. I, I hate this! I can't take it anymore! Oh, I hate it too! 
<laughs> I've had enough! I'm getting out of here! Where do you think you're going? You're... There's nowhere to run! Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. Uh, that's true, but to, to jump into it so soon? What? what? Do you want to die? Such Fine, ignorance. then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn you! A dead body is an object? Shahira wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya! Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya, s Byakuya said. Ah, I guess. Pronounce those names properly. K Kyoko? Because... Or we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our lives, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right there, that is right that Genocide Jack is somehow one, the one who killed Chihiro, right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. Forget more victims, and we mess this up, we're all dead meat! Hey, hey! Hold on, hold on! If that's your worry, you don't have to worry any longer! In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people! <laughs> oh, is this a new rule now? What? I don't remember any rule like that! Actually, I just came up with it! I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life will all be over, right? New rule has been added to the regulations list. So then... In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of the serial killer angle. Yeah. Yo, -ho -ho! just one would totally murder the possibility. Is waiting for you. Farewell for now. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. All right, let's get to the investigation already. God damn it! Ugh. I can't say I understand what he's thinking, but if we can't kill up to two people, then one more person's life could be in danger. <laughs> Which is. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! Uh, well, for now, Taka and I are going to drop off Toka at her room. <laughs> nice! I'm gonna get dropped off! Oh my god, I fucked. I love her voice, but good god, is her personality still shit? There is nothing to be done. Uh, we have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation, put sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, okay? then we will quickly follow her in the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice! GET YOUR GAME ON! <laughs> uh, okay. First off, I better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated around 2 AM. That's pretty damn late, huh? The body was discovered at the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, so that's our uh, evidence so far. Our autopsy. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you... Uh, did you... Need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so, what do you need? <laughs> I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. S solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you? You're not doing it in the most arrogant. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? B but we need to get moving. There's nothing. There's no time for to be standing around. I don't really know how it just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with the Byakuya from on this moment on, unless he tries to kill me too during his potential scheme or whatever. No, I can't jump to conclusions just yet. Plus, if we really want to go by anime logic, it's obvious that he's not it because he's clearly the bad guy. If anything, he's gonna die at the end game or something, or who knows. Unless the game's actually being more creative. 
Who knows? Anyways, whatever. Um, let's talk to the witnesses or everyone else. Yeah, Kyoko is also a really good investigator as well, so let's give her any leads. Um, she took her time examining Chihiro's corpse. She poked and prodded at it, going over every inch of the lifeless body. Hmm. You're a very strange woman, you know, being able to touch a dead body with absolutely no trouble. She seems to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. Alright. Uh oh yeah, fuck, fine. <laughs> if you have to if you have time to talk, you have to start you have time to start investigating. Okay. Not much useful than this there. Sakura, what do you think? I use this locker all the time. Now it's become a site of Jahiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else, then carried here. That still means that okay. That, that does that doesn't really mean much, anyways. I mean, we we definitely know the culprit is definitely a woman because if a guy enters um the uh, girls' locker room without any permission, then yeah, we're fucking dead. So of course, <laughs> she was a very light. She was very light. That is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still, well, I still think she came here on her own by choice. Well, what makes you say that? <laughs> She'd be talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So that's where the weight room comes in, alright. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. That is also... Oh no, unless she, she's going for really intensive training, I don't think... Yeah. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps... Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she will probably be avoided then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night? However, Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would do such a uh, come here alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come with someone else. Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Alright, so I'll take Sakura's account into that. I got witness's testimony, that's good. Actually, hold on, well, who are the female uh, representatives of this school? What's, what button do I press again? Triangle? Nope, that's not it. What the fuck? What's the button for me to- Uh, oh uh, shit. Square? Okay, it's square. That's weird. That's... That's on. Anyways, uh... So, let's reveal the possible culprit so far. Is it a report card? Okay, so... So, I really don't want her to be the fucking- uh, Okay, if it's Tok- If Tok is the murderer, I'm all for it. That's the only one- That's the only person I'm gonna willing to accept. Uh... Uh, has not updated the file yet. Um, it's clear it's not a suicide because there's no way she would be able to kill herself like that in that kind of state. Um, not like that, but if you're going for a suicide, why go use a blunt up? Maybe it was an accidental murder or something. <laughs> she was trying to exercise with her weight, but accidentally knocked herself out with her own weight. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But uh, that would be a funny death to witness. No, that, that, but that wouldn't explain how she's in a crossbow like Jesus Christ right here. Anyways, Mondo, what do you think? Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard your hero talk about... You heard your hero talk about it, right? All I need to do is get strong? Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? I already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that str- Makoto. Dude, really? I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. Can't help wonder- I can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account- What the hell? What the fuck kind of evidence is he- What is his testimony exactly? Oh, fuck. Not presence. Truth blocks, there we go. What's his- Jihiro to had told anyone willing to listen that she wanted to become strong. Is that really it? I feel like that's 
basic lo that's basic knowledge to everyone. Ooh, excuse me. That's basic knowledge to everyone, so it's not just Mondo um, testimony. Some assume some assume that due to her inferiority complex about being weak, she admires strength more than anything else. Okay. Don't know how that's gonna help us. Maybe it'll pinpoint the murder? Or, uh, sorry, not the murder, the motive. And that's all for witnesses' accounts. Let's start investigating. Alright, first off, this thing's obvious. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and... There's a blood stain! There's a blood stain on a dumbbell! Well, thanks for... Obviousism. The Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell is actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could not it could have been anything else. Alright. So that was pretty obvious. That's the murder weapon. <laughs> now I believe it's time for us to Really? I feel like there might be a little bit more to investigate, but okay. Huh already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to take check every aspect of this case. Let's go. If you're satisfied, hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy, I always get caught up with the wrong person by the wrong time. Okay, what the fuck are we doing here, then? I guess... So, this is our next... You know, if I was honestly being logical here, tell me what the fuck you have been investigating. Tell me what you were thinking about what's going on inside that murder scene right there, instead of dragging me out of here and telling me, Oh, we're done here. We're, we're totally done. Well, then again, I guess Kirigiri is still investigating there, so I think we should be fine there, but... So, this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? Okay, Byakuya, do tell. <laughs> Figure it out yourself. It's no fun if you don't. I think he's testing me. Alright, fine. Let's see here. Let's see if there's anything suspicious. Aside from him, of course. Uh, the gun. Nothing. What about to the... Boys' locker room? I don't think that's how that's related to the case anyways. That's not even the scene of the crime, idiot. I'm just examining, you fucking asshole! I need to be thorough! I've played fucking 30... What's a fucking game called? Kingdom Hearts 3 fucking... 8 days? Oh. That's a friend's camera. If Chiro was being murdered, I bet the mastermind was just sitting there watching. They know what's happened, and they're still forcing us to go through this. Uh, the keypad! Maybe that could help, actually. We could... Get intel data on... Who went in? If I remember right, this card reader is meant for to work with our handbooks, right? What? You have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with mon- Dude! Ebook reader! Scanning! We can know who went in the fucking room! Asshole. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me?! Has he been domestic- <laughs> Whatever. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Well, um, well, it's about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. We can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> and it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? If there was some sort of erotic terrorism on the prowl... The ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initially a Swiss cheese slaughter. Hmm. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else's their handbook, correct? Of course. Correctly correct. So then, that means only girls can go. You fucking figured that out now? Come the fuck on! Uh, okay, whatever. That means only girls can go into the girls' locker room. Uh, girls' locker room, and only boys can go into the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Chihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're so... You know, I kind of have to agree with Byakuya. Fucking Makoto is a goddamn dumbass. He's really slow. Huh. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to her regulations. The answer has been in front of... I seriously hate how Byakuya is... Just bullying the main character when they're us. Ugh. 
It's just that, uh, I really... Loaning your hand, he a handbook to another service is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning is... Uh, wait, hold on. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else is perfectly fine. Hold on, fucking minute. Mm -hmm. Loaning your e-handbook is an to another student is strictly prohibited. But still borrowing. <laughs> Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else is perfectly fine. That still means you're loaning it to... Uh, whatever. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from that project. You know, I'm gonna fucking look up the... Does this thing have internet connection? Yes, it does. Alright, I'm gonna look up the fucking definition of loaning. To see if... Whatever the fuck you- oh my god. Get- why the fuck you need to ghoul that? Uh, how do I- Okay, um, uh, square, 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 okay. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll be right back, I guess.